Hello, hello. It's Jada with the Craft Hog here. I'm back again um, to show you another haul. Uh, it's a mix between Dollar Tree, a little bit of Walmart, and then AliExpress. And like I said, I'm splitting this up because there's so much. But anyways, I want to get started. So, boy, that sounded kind of demanding and rude. I'm so sorry I didn't mean it like that. But, you know, I'm sure you want me to get started too. So anyways, uh, like, subscribe, comment, they're always welcome. Uh, check out the links if you're interested in anything. And um, I'll go ahead and get started. So I, I started AliExpress back in January. I didn't realize that that new user coupon was on top of any other coupons until like the last few days that I could use the coupons. So I did place a lot of orders for things that I thought, you know, well, I can use in my craft, you know, space. And um, whether I use it today or I use it two, three years from now, you know, that's that's what I'll do. So I'll, I'll get this stuff. I get it a lot cheaper <clears throat> than if I were to go to Hobby Lobby and all that. Not saying that I don't shop at those places, but uh, this sure saves you a lot of money. So back in the first week of February, I was still missing orders yet now I still am waiting on orders but the sellers keep saying it's coming it's coming and so finally I got one that um, came from that first group of orders and it is some wood things because as you remember I uh, was on a wood a little wood thing kick but uh, definitely will use definitely will use them so what I had gotten from the seller is some cute little wood animals. Um, I had wanted to do something with Easter, but we'll do something else. But I could actually still use this rooster on um, some mason jar projects that I have planned for. I've started some, but I got birds. I got these cute little, cute little lamb. I got roosters and uh, some more birds and then a snail now they were not they did not treat these all the same i got more of certain ones than i got of others i wish i would have got more mushrooms but that's okay so uh it did say mix it didn't say that i'd get five of this and five of that so i took my chance so i got them i wanted some uh corners now back then i wasn't doing paper crafts I was doing, you know, my normal regular crafts, so my plan was like staining these and put these, putting these on frames just to add some um, design to it. But now I can also use these on paper crafts. I can use them for journals or albums or, you know, like if I want to put a picture on something, I can corner it with that. And then I, I can't make these for the price that... You know, I don't have a Cricut maker, so I wouldn't be able to make these. I'd love to have a Glowforge, but anyways, I had gotten a bunch of other words in some of my previous videos I showed, but I also wanted this kind of cute love. Some of them do look like they are broken, but they can be fixed, so that's okay, and it was in shipping for months, so I'm kind of surprised um, that I only got a few that are broken. And then also with that seller, I had wanted just some little, some different different color fabrics just to work with. So here I, I got these little squares. I'm not a quilter or anything like that, but I just kind of wanted some, just some fabrics to add to some of my projects as um, like decoration. So, oh, there's a bunch of them. Just some different flower designs and animals and mostly flowers it looks like but that's okay it's a bunch of different colors and I know that I'll use them in something okay and then I have gotten um, some of the whoops oh shoot they're all falling out okay we'll just keep them right there but these are really cute these are really pretty bright colored um, fun beads. I, I've made dangles with them already too and they were they're fun. And then I got some snowflakes. I was thinking okay we'll do some snowflakes. They kind of feel like a fabric cut. So the, the work is done for me on these. So I'll add these to projects. They are fun. Um, I got, oops, 
I got a bunch of sequins. So I got these flower sequins. Um, I got these cute little yarn balls. I thought those were fun. Uh, I got some more sequins. The only thing I don't like about these is they've actually got the hole in them. And I, I don't know if I'll be able to work with earrings that small. I might try it. We'll see. But I guess I could hang them off dangles. I mean, I guess I could still put them in shakers. It's just, I don't know. With that hole in them, it just kind of might not look good. We'll see. I got some more cute sequins. This is like a mix. I'm hoping that you can see all this because when I go and I, I like save the video, it like saves it really small. So I'm hoping I'm getting all this in here. Um, I can't remember what you call these, but they're flowers, they're metal, and I can put them on projects, jewelry, anything. But I got a mix between, looks like bronze, gold, and I don't know, it's not like a bright silver, it's kind of like a... Not like a gunmetal either, but in between. Can't remember that word. Rhododen or rhodium or something. <laughs> Here's some more sequin mixes. I mean, I've got plenty of sequins, but these can be used for lots of different things. I wanted some bells. I thought for um, Christmas projects. Some fun bells, and I love, and this is like a, per I like the little ones because that's that little bit of jingle. And then I got some caps, some bead caps mix of them. Uh, I got some more charms. Um, these are just, uh, I think there's some kind of, they're just like a, my fingers don't want to work, but here we go, I'll pick one out, but it just looks like it's a drink. And that one's got a strawberry in it. This one's got grapes, um, kiwi, looks like another, oh, maybe banana even. It could look like banana, I guess, instead of kiwi. It's not green, so. And then, uh, that looks like watermelon. So, some fun. I only got a set of five, but I just wanted to see what they looked like first. Definitely needed the, the, the little ring, the jump ring on it. Okay, and then, um, this must be a popular one, because, I mean, they got their own packaging stamped and everything. But I got... Um, some really small sequins now, or, or nail art. This is, this is nail art, but I figure I'll use it for shakers and, um, I don't know. I want to try making something where, um, another YouTuber, I'll post that another time when I actually do it, but I want to, like, mix them all together and do some fun things and then, uh, decorate different projects with them but I did black I did red and I did a mix I did another mix but um, more the jewel tone this is like a dark I mean when you look at it one way it looks black and then another there's purples teals green in there blue uh, I did kind of a crystal color really like these I have used these in some projects like a coral coral it's not really pink but it's not really all coral either it's kind of in between and then another jewel one but this one these are smaller and I will have the links below another mix and then another jewel mix but these are smaller and then like I did a pastel mix too so real cute there okay uh, we're looking at nine minutes here so I think I can do a few more some of the stuff out of the way oh my goodness okay so walmart all i got at walmart i like to shop clearance uh, but all i got at walmart in the craft section was some cute little bows that i thought 50 cents that's a good deal for these and i got some funky ribbon i got some navy blue and white polka dots i went with a uh, royal blue and then I found some um, pink tool. They had lots of different tool, but I already have blue, so I went with a lighter pink. I I do have a pink like this, but it's it's a lot lighter. This is a little bit darker. So I like that. And let's see here, what should I do next? Um, I guess I could show this. So 
so I'll show the washi tape I got and all that and then I probably should end this for the next for another time so love this I don't know if I can get it I suppose if I did my 50% off coupon at Hobby Lobby or something I could probably find something similar and maybe for about the price or less, not sure, maybe. But why waste a coupon when, if you just wait a couple months, not even a couple months, the seller, I think I ordered, well, I guess it was two months, because I ordered the, I think there was the last week in April, first week in May, they had one of their, their big coupon deals, and I ordered it then, and I got it this past week. So I guess it was two months, but it didn't feel like it. But this is a fun case. And it's, it's meant, well, they advertise it for washi tape, but I think I'm going to use it for beads. And I think I'm going to pick up another one and then just stack them all together. I mean, sure, I won't be using one of the lids, but stack them all together, like, I don't know, 10 high? <laughs> that should fit all my stuff, right? And I found that I need to have clear... I need to have clear containers so that I see what I've got. Because, you know, being a crafter, you all know there's tons of stuff. We have so much. Um, okay, I'll get all these over here. Whoops. So then from the cellar where I got that, um, that case, I bought some washi tape. So this really pretty pinkish purple. And it feels, it feels like it'll be strong. So we'll see. And then I got the same one in blue, kind of a blue shimmer. And then I did, this one was a little hard to open, but I, I did open it ahead of time, but I got some like, you know, camera roll. I need to, I would like to get a bigger one, you know, so that you could actually cut out a picture to fit inside, but this will be fine to put on corners of pictures or something like that. And then I went ahead and got a roll of orange um, from them. Oh, look, that's got a hamburger on it. I got to open that up now. <laughs> oh, funny. It didn't really say what each one was. I just wanted, you know, different colors. Let's see if I can get it open. Yep. Oh, funny. It's got ice cream cones and looks like some juice and a wine glass. Oh, fun. Well, I'm glad I got that then. <laughs> so that was orange. I got yellow. And yellow looks like it's donuts. Maybe more the breakfast stuff there. But all these other colors are different. Like that's stripes and, you know, there's some stars. So each one is different. Let's look at the orange again. Oh, and there's some wording on that one. So, and then I did two purples. Um, let's see. So there's polka dots, flowers. Not sure what that one is. But, you know, different different colors. Hearts. And, and then I did kind of a teal blue. The only color I need now, I think, is, is just like a dark blue. That's all I need yet. Just to have. And in some of my... Etsy stuff like the um, make it your make your own journal make your own album I give out um, a washi usually with each one so then this one's got strawberries and cute hearts and oh, that one looks like candy this looks like like face different faces like I don't know like that I don't know if you can see that but so that's fun and then I also had always wanted these washi, and what there's what you do with them is, um, you know, you would I suppose you take it apart somehow. I wouldn't normally be doing this right now. I'd be carefully doing it like at my desk. But okay, we're not going to do that. But you know, you would put it in a cert, you know, put it in a circle, and then you can build a flower out of it. And so I got that in green, orange, purple. And then there's, there's, there's one of my blues. So I thought I'd use the green as the base and then build a flower out of each of the other colors. So, and that, and it looks to me like, yeah, the green is the bigger one. So that, that'll be fun. Okay, and then I also picked up cute little, um, I suppose it's advertised as a makeup bag, but I thought if I ever do happy mail or if I ever give out 
um, prizes, which, you know, remember, 25 subscribers, who knows, this might be in that box. But I thought, you know, fill it up for Happy Mail or, you know, give it to a friend. I wanted to see what it was like, and it's really cute. And I got that one, and then I also got this one. Okay, so that is, was that part of my AliExpress um, haul. I also did Dollar Tree. I went to Dollar Tree. I have two. I have two Dollar Trees. One that's 25 minutes one way, and one that's 25 minutes the other way. And the one in the bigger town is not as good as the one in the smaller town. So I go to the one in the smaller town because they've got more stuff. And I did get some more of those clear plastic containers because I have so much that I need to organize. But I also found a few other things. So I found a package like this. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they're, um, you know, they're just like front and back. They're the, the same design. But I thought, you know, I could back this with some... Um, cardstock or chipboard and bling it all up and make it into a sign you know so I'm not sure if I'll do that with these but for sure the mason jars I thought would be fun to do something with and then I think I've shown in the past okay so you can buy these you can buy these little containers they come two to a drawer Okay, so what I do is when I see them, because they're not always at every Dollar Tree, but when I see them, I buy three, and then I glue them all together. And so then when I stand them up, they're, you know, they're all together, and I can put my beads and other things in them. And I've got another one, but what I thought was, okay, I'll, I'll get one more set sometime, and then I'll just put them somehow all together and make it into, like, a carrying case. And then that, you know... That could replace something like this, I guess, too. But I like this because it's just it's small. It's just perfect. But this, I love these, too. I mean, I like them both. It's really good storage solution and affordable, you know, where you don't have to go out and spend a ton. I, mean, I guess when you look at it, this was $3, and this one was, whoops, <laughs> sorry. And this one was, I, I think I paid six, but then after the coupons, it probably wasn't quite six. So, you know, other options if you are running out of storage. I am going to try and figure out um, in a, like a embellishment storage other than something like this because I, I want something that's a little bit bigger of a, you know, like maybe two together like this. And um, on a display, I'm just going to try and figure it out. I bought some foam boards, so we'll, find, we'll figure it out. Um, I'll kind of insert what I'm trying to talk about because I have made um, storage for my um, ribbon, for my small ribbon, and for um, some of my paints. And so this, I'm trying to think of something also for embellishments, which, you know, I decorate and then you can hang it on the wall so that you have just a little bit more floor space for <laughs> other things. <laughs> so I know I'm, I'm all mixed up, but I'll insert pictures and then you'll, you'll understand what I'm trying to get at with this that I would like to make just for embellishments. The things that are already made um, that I can just go to pull something out, pop it on a project, and we're done. So. And these, I suppose, could be made for that, too. It's just I would like a deeper drawer. So we'll see. We'll see. I saw it on Oriental Trading. I could just pay the 10 or 12 bucks for it, but I want to try and make it on myself. So anyways, um, I better keep going here. I'm so sorry. I kind of go off and off here. You know, working remote, you know, you don't talk to as many people, and then, then you know, you just kind of gab to yourself a lot. Um, I also picked up some burlap. I've never seen this darker brown. 
burlap from the Dollar Tree. Let's see if I can pull it off. I've never seen this dark, dark but yeah, I know I you see the normal burlap color, but I've never seen the brown. Oh, and I don't have a scissors in hand here. Oh, here we go. Okay. So yeah, so I like that brown. And then I also got red in it. Um, my thought is my dad liked the international tractors and we're going to have a celebration of life pretty soon. So I, I got the idea for my sister. She did something similar at my niece's graduation party. So I thought, oh, I might just do something with this red and black. I found yarn. My, I don't usually see yarn at Dollar Tree. So I found some yarn I picked up. Um, it is a it, it feels nice. It feels like it's really good yarn. But I'm looking at, you know, tassels or adding it to bows or something like that. So that was fun. And then I found some more of those bracelets. I make dangles out of these. So I'll just cut them up and... Okay, and so... Oh, and then the other thing, I already have them set up, but I did buy some... Um, I don't know, let's see if we can pull this up a little bit. Nope. But I did buy some um, cardboard paper holders. I bought three of them, so I thought, well, let's, I might just put them all together and put them on a shelf. So that's, oh, and then I, I've never seen these um, ad little ad adhesive dots. I've seen the roll, um, and I've seen the larger square ones, but these are like really tiny. So like, you know, the tip of my fingernail there. I've never seen them and that that'll be helpful because you know the larger square ones I cut in half and we'll pop them on projects to um, show dimension but I like these smaller ones too so I picked them up too. All right so I guess that will be it for now and um, I probably won't do the next one until maybe tomorrow because it, it's not too bad, I guess, but just a few more things, and then I'm caught up. <laughs> All right, I will have, um, I'll have any links in the description box. You all have a wonderful day. Stay safe, and remember, subscribe, hit like, comment. I know you hear that from every single YouTuber, but it does truly help them out. It helps, it, you know, it helps gain exposure, and we all like to see each other's ideas. I'm, I'm on YouTube also looking at um, certain things other people are doing and seeing if I can come up with something similar or my own idea or, you know, it's fun. And we're all a great community of crafters and, you know, just people who are just trying to make friends and get through life happy. And uh, this makes me happy. So crafting and sharing things. So you all take care and have a great day. All right. Bye now.